Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back or welcome to Fort Destiny, where if you want to know where games where your money belongs, come check it out with Army Mom Strong. We are checking out the Red Lantern, y'all. Thank you very much to Query Everything for sending us a donation to where we could scoop this game up. I really, really appreciate you and everybody that donates to the channel, whether it's just through views, likes, comments, or helping share the channel so that we can get it growing. Y'all are amazing, and I couldn't be blessed with a better community. If you don't know what it is, the Red Lantern is a story-driven, roguelite survival game where you and your team of five do sled dogs lost in the wilderness must navigate the ever-changing encounters of the Alaskan bush to find your way home. Features a dynamic, dynamic world that changes as you play. I recorded this earlier, as you can see, but see, I streamed last night, and guess what I didn't do? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm, you called it. I didn't unmute my mic, so I have a 25-minute episode that I have to trash because uh, you can't hear me talking. So, let's go new save game, shall we? Uh, start a new save game? Yeah. Ironically, I was watching Game Edge play this at like 3 o'clock this morning when Query Everything hit us up and was like, Hey, have you seen this? I think you should totally cover this. So, I think it was meant to be, y'all. We have a hu well, we had a husky. We actually had to rehome him last week because he got very aggressive and bit our daughter's boyfriend. So, so, yeah, we can't risk him biting the grandbaby. It was sad, but sometimes you gotta do what's best for the animal, and apparently he just wasn't having it. So, let's start a new game. We still have our two boxer labs, so. And when I was growing up, my uncles raised and trained Siberian Huskies, so this is, like, right up my alley. Keep in mind, I... Do you I have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor. But that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. Our graphics are gorgeous. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Uh, let's see, especially since we're a bit new, you've always wanted a best friend. We need someone who can match our drive. Let's do best let's friend. Let's find someone that complements your squirrel hunting obsessions. You good? Maybe a calmer me. pup? I do like that the pups are randomized, because what we got when I recorded it earlier was different than what Game Edge got on his uh, playthrough. Where are you, girl? I think there's like nine, eight or nine dogs you can visit. You only get four. You know you have a house right there. So we gotta be kind of picky. You don't have to be in the snow. Oh, she's so pretty. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? I want them all, y'all. This is the hardest part of the game, other than trying to survive and not die. Cause oh, are you just a big old snowball? I mean. Big, fluffy, loud. These are the qualities we need. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. She's so pretty. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well, I think we can make this happen. We've got a new life to start. Can you help protect us? We've got the wrist under control. It's been a, it'll be an adventure for all of us. I like that one. But everything should be, right? You only get nervous when you're doing something new. Let's awaken those nerves. 
Oh, just a few so more hard. miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Okay. Dear God, your eyes are blue. Oh, it's They're pretty. brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. Oh, I like this one. I know some pups that would love to have you around. Yeah, I, it's the hardest part is not taking the first one to see. So, meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. you got like a cold fire in those eyes. So pretty. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. <laughs> I hear moose are more threatening than bears. Is that true? Mating season, I'm gonna yeah. I'm going to take that yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? We gotta prove we can hack it out there. We need to find what we are made I feel of. Like I like that one. Lost myself back in the city. I need to know I can accomplish a dream. A lot of people will lose themselves in the city. I'm glad to have Too you, busy. Stilton. I don't know what the ride is gonna be like, but we're definitely gonna have an adventure. Yes, we are. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup. The latter. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to oh adopt two more dogs. This is so hard. Uh, Slayer? Oh, let's try and move closer. I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Oh, no. Never he, mind, I will stay right here. He don't How's like us. Sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got grand some weird fears, too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Yeah, same with fish. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. Oh, we'll run when we need to. I think it's just as important to know when to get yourself out of there as it is to know you can handle a challenge. Well, Slayer, what do you think? I think we're gonna pass on Slayer. We have a lot of stops and not many. Oh. Maybe once we're settled, I'll come back for you. Great meeting you, Slayer. I don't like that we have to turn pups away. This is, oh my gosh. I know it's just a game. Hey, so far judging. so good. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs and five we have more five stops. more stops. I think we'll be oh. okay. So hard. Oh my Noodle, goodness. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Uh, do you always just lay on the ground? You still like to run, right? I promise we'll still get plenty of rest. <laughs> you look ready for snugs. Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? I think we're gonna. Ah, I want to see what the other pups Enjoy. are. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm a horrible person, y'all. Oh. We're starting a new life. You have to be a little bit picky. I want to make sure we have a well-rounded team. Like so noodle we've got was adorable. Four more stops to find our last two pups. Oh. That should work. The struggle is real. Ah. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. Our <laughs> husky owners got tired of skunks, huh? Get into skunks. Well, uh, might need a I don't drug. really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running. Be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's uh, probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. Okay, then. 
I'm not gonna take that. Ah, we got seems three like more you gotta stocks. get them going here. You can curate your collection, and you still get plenty of long walks to sniff out new treasures. Enjoy it, Finn. It's great meeting you. Oh, this is. Oh my gosh. This team's really coming together. Okay, we have three more stops until we reach the trail and two pups to adopt. Looks like we're nearly at the next stop. Our last place, I grabbed the first four pups, so. Our last episode. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? Oh, he's I cute. I said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness. Matt, you always stuck by your musher side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? Let's take Barkley. He doesn't want to be here. He wants to be out in the wild, running, so it's only I'm right. I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Should we give you a new name? Something no. that reflects your quiet nature? No, you should never change a dog's name. Not when they're grown. No, these names are awful. Mouse, slippers, snoozers. I don't I don't want to change your name, Barkley. I'm going to still play with Barkley. Even if the game makes me change it. Mouse sounds nice, right? He, he doesn't okay, like it. Okay, so uh, not quiet. Just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. Yay. Yeah, see, now he's happy. Okay, one so more close dog. to a complete team. Okay, we've got a few more stops left, and we only need one more pup. I know we'll find the right one. Oh. Passing on pups, Gail. Oh, you look Gale? like a force to be reckoned with. Gail, is it? I don't oh, think you'll be energy. needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. I like you. Yeah. I mean, you gave me a game with puppers. You guys knew you I was really going to try it. Open. You always need the wind in your fur. Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? This should be fun. Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? I bet We've got a is. pretty good team assembled so far. Some speed, some strength, some smarts. I think we just might be all right. I think our team is awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element. Never let that wind leave your fur. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. This is gonna be a fun series, y'all. Timberland Studios. And besides, it's like we don't get snow in Texas, so playing a, a snow game in like fall and winter is my favorite thing to do. The Red Lantern. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. <laughs> okay, so we need to go... But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but... I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah. That dog behind him is my Molly's favorite All thing right. to do. All right. Let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Gale, Stilton, Iggy. And the sled is all ready to go. Don't forget Chomper. Well, we've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're going to have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. You pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. 
But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Well, that we can see our hat. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. It's those little things that I love. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Not just in case. Enough. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Yo. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Mush on. Uh, mush on. <laughs> gonna be a lot of fun y'all if I keep us alive. Full disclosure, not only was my mic muted, but I also got us killed by starving us to death in that first episode. So uh food is hard. I gotta get used to the hunting. We only have three bullets, so there's not a whole lot of hunting we can do. And it's like a mini game. Well, with here hunting. we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and G for right. So let's go. Uh let's go I think, right? Gee! I can't actually tell. Along the trail, you're around encounters. Encounters have risks, but also bring rewards. You won't survive without exploring, but going into encounters costs hunger. This is your hunger meter. If your hunger meter is empty, you need to eat soon or risk losing your current run. That's what happened to us. Such a pretty game. Oh. You're a big fella, aren't you? It's okay, Pops. I got this. Uh, I think it's worth it. Can we hunt it? Oh. You're what? making this feel really personal. Uh, shoot I it. Can't miss from here. Oh, we missed it on that one. Okay. I think it's when that little swirly thing. <laughs> I'm Thank sorry. You us. We need food. Oh, that was awful. That was worth it. Another meal ready to go. I know, I feel awful. All right, we've got two bullets. All right, let's mush on. Uh, tab to resource. we got six food, two bullets, one birch, and one med pack. This is your dog's energy meter. Crossing a trail marker costs one energy. These are examples of trail markers. You run, your run will end if you cross a trail marker when either your hunger meter or the dog's energy meter is empty. So we just got a trail marker, so we're gonna lose one food. There we go. Let's see how far we can get till nightfall. Is that a wolf? Can you actually what? find food like that? I want to see if you can pull this off. to think it just knows how to do this. It knows how to survive. <laughs> we could all be so lucky. I should take lessons. No, no, no. I don't want to hunt the fox. Oh, look at him. So you just keep going. You knew you were close and you had to push through. Hm. Wonder how long it took for you to learn that. Well, that and some help from a little luck. Uh, I can conquer this too. Thanks for the inspiration. Happy hunting, little one. Hey, pups. Let's get back out there. Let's go. We're starting to get pretty hungry, so we're going to have to stop soon. I don't want to stop yet, though. It's still good sunlight. Uh, let's look at our map. Uh, let's go left, I think. Huh. It's really hard to tell on the map. Probably should have gone right, but Can go one more mile bird? marker. Why is it running so? Oh, it's a weasel. Check it out. Where did it go? I can only see a tree. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. Uh, I'm not gonna hunt it. It's gonna cost a bullet. My pups haven't learned to climb yet. So you're safe up there. Yeah, if I could let the pups hunt it, I would have. But I'm not gonna waste the bullet on that little bit of food. Okay. Okay, so we need to make the camp. No, Let's no, be no. safe out there. 
No, no, we need to camp. If we're hungry, we need to camp. No, don't cross that mile marker. Stop. Yes, 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 we should. Ooh. I'm like hitting we, uh, C set over up a and pretty over good again. Camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. Okay, and of course, there. I can check on all of you. Should we camp? Here you can eat meat filling your hunger meter. You can use a dog's bowl to feed your dogs filling their energy. You can sleep restoring maximum capacity lost by being tired. Yes, we should camp because we can't pass another mile marker. Our run will be over. Take a break, pups. Okay, let's give everybody some loves. Pet Barkley. Ready for pets, Barkley? Let them know they did a great job today. Scratches, scratches, scratches. She says something different. They each like play through. Oh, there's Gail on her back again. Pets, pets, pets. Yeah, she was like talking to him like all the way through the, when I was recording that last episode. That's pretty cool. You keeping a lookout for all of us? Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe it's some of these. A good time for pets. And a bit of a scratch here. There we go. We need to eat soon. We gotta give our, our baby some pets first. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Do we miss anybody? Look, we missed somebody. We got Iggy, Gail, Barkley. No, we didn't miss anybody. Okay, let's go ahead and get the dogs fed. Good time. Chow down, pups. And then you press D. <laughs> Took me a minute to figure this out. We're going to give them two. I think we're going to eat two. And then we'll have one to... Fire would be nice. Work with. Start oh, fire with I can't birch. wait to feel the warmth on my face. Oh, we didn't stop and get more birch this time. Oh, we gotta find birch. I'm ready to cook some food. Okay, so let's go two, because we're about starving. Perfect. There's one for each of us for tomorrow. It's kind of scary. Should I feed them more and then we can hunt? I don't know. I feel like that wasn't enough. Food time! Chow down, pups. Yeah, we're gonna... They need more food. It leaves us nothing for tomorrow, but... We'll, we'll go hunting tomorrow to figure it out. Let's go to sleep. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning. Yeah, we have no the food. dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? This is the Red Lantern, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember, when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Later, y'all.